Welcome to the realm of 1,978 seconds Battlestar Galactica, a science fiction television series that has etched itself into the annals of entertainment history. Have you ever found yourself reminiscing about a cherished memory link to this iconic show? Perhaps it's the thrill of intergalactic battles or the captivating characters that left an indelible mark on your viewing experience. What enduring qualities propel Battlestar Galactica to stand as an everlasting symbol of the industry? Is it the timeless exploration of human resilience, the interplay of politics in a dystopian universe, or the gripping narrative that continues to captivate audiences across generations? Before we delve into the random facts that shape the legacy of Battlestar Galactica, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience connected to this TV series? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your unique perspective adds to the tapestry of fan experiences. Now, let's set the stage for a journey through random facts about Battlestar Galactica. Did you know that the series faced challenges and controversies during its initial run, yet managed to carve out a lasting niche in science fiction lore? The interplay of technology, humanity, and the unknown makes for a compelling narrative that transcends the boundaries of its late 1970s origin. Whether you're a devoted fan or a newcomer curious about this television classic, join us as we uncover intriguing facets of Battlestar Galactica. Your cherished memories and insights await in the comments below. Let the journey begin. The TV series Battlestar Galactica from 1978 incorporated elements of Glenna Larson's Mormon religion. Notably, references such as the Quorum of the Twelve, akin to the Mormon ruling body, and the term ceiling for marriage, reminiscent of Mormon temple weddings, are evident. The use of ceilings being for all the eternities mirrors Mormon celestial marriages being for time and eternity. The moral lessons in each episode align with Mormon design. Another distinctive aspect is the height requirement for Cylon centurions. To enhance their intimidation factor, they had to be over six feet tall. Larson addressed this by hiring a team of out-of-work basketball players for the roles. The Cylons, the series' antagonists, were led by an imperious leader. The term imperious was chosen deliberately, not only for its meaning of arrogantly domineering, but also to avoid the strong association with Imperial, a term closely tied to Star Wars. The irony lies in how Patrick Mackney, providing the character's voice, made the reference fitting for the Cylon Emperor. These unique elements contribute to the distinctiveness of the 1978 Battlestar Galactica, showcasing Larson's creative choices influenced by his Mormon beliefs and the practical decision-making and character design. Noah Hathaway, who played a significant role in the 1978 Battlestar Galactica series, once admitted in an interview that he harbored a crush on Jane Seymour, his on-screen mother. This unusual dynamic adds an intriguing layer to the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the show. Hathaway's confession sheds light on the personal dynamics within the cast, showcasing the human side of the actors who brought the characters to life. The series, known for its unique blend of science fiction and moral undertones, had an unexpected real-world impact. In a tribute to Battlestar Galactica, U.S. Air Force pilots began referring to the F-16 Fighting Falcon as the Viper when it entered service in 1980. This nod to the series highlights the cultural influence it had, permeating even into military nomenclature. Interestingly, the Viper name stuck creating a connection between the fictional colonial Viper and the real-world F-16. These anecdotes provide a glimpse into the personal lives of the actors and the lasting impact of Battlestar Galactica on popular culture, extending beyond the confines of the television screen. It's a testament to the show's enduring legacy and its unexpected influence in realms beyond entertainment. Glenda Larson, the creator of the 1978 Battlestar Galactica series, originally envisioned the show during the late 1960s, titling it Adam's Ark. The initial premise centered around human survivors traversing the galaxy in search of a new home following Earth's destruction. This concept laid the foundation for a unique blend of science fiction and moral undertones that would characterize the series. When ABC canceled Battlestar Galactica due to high expenses, both NBC and CBS expressed interest in acquiring the show. CBS even considered adding it as a mid-season replacement. 
However, neither network ultimately acquired the series. Interestingly, Universal and NBC later became Comcast companies, leading to the remake being broadcast on SYFY, a Universal basic cable channel. The show's casting also took an unexpected turn. Originally set to play Viper pilot Lieutenant Boomer, Terry Carter's injury while roller skating prompted series producer Glenna Larson to offer him the role of Colonel Tick. This decision not only showcased flexibility in casting, but also avoided the typical television racial cliché of the time. Battlestar Galactica broke away from the mold set by Star Wars, Episode IV A New Hope by featuring two major recurring black characters in prominent roles, a positive departure from the film's all-Caucasian principal cast. These behind-the-scenes insights into the show's inception, network dynamics, and casting choices provide a fascinating perspective on the 1978 Battlestar Galactica series, shedding light on the creative decisions and challenges that shaped its unique narrative. The show's enduring legacy and unexpected influences continue to resonate in popular culture, transcending the boundaries of its original television run. Dirk Benedict, known for his role as Lieutenant Starbuck in the 1978 Battlestar Galactica, drew inspiration from James Garner's Maverick. The character Lieutenant Starbuck's charisma and roguish charm echoed Garner's portrayal in the classic Western series. Interestingly, Benedict later expressed disdain for Caddy Sackhoff's Kara Starbuck Thrace in the series' remake, referring to her derisively as Stardo. The influence of Greek mythology is evident in the character names such as Apollo and Athena. Notably, Starbuck and Boomer find their origins in Herman Melville's novel Moby Dick, with Starbuck serving as the first officer of the Pequod. Additionally, the name Adama is a clever reworking of Adam, signifying man in Hebrew, fitting for Lorne Green, who portrayed Adama and was of Jewish descent. Beyond the show's character inspirations, the iconic sound of the Cylons had a lasting impact. This distinctive sound made its way into the realm of Knight Rider, as it was incorporated into Kit the same sound accompanied the launch of the Viper from the Galactica, and was used when Michael Knight activated Turbo Boost to make the car jump. His intriguing behind-the-scenes details shed light on the creative choices, inspirations, and unexpected connections that contribute to the enduring legacy of the Battlestar Galactica series. As we draw the curtains on this nostalgic journey through the cosmos, let the echoes of Battlestar Galactica linger in the corridors of your mind. Like a constellation of memories, the 1978 TV series has woven tales of resilience, humanity, and the uncharted expanses of space. As you navigate the remnants of the twelve colonies in your mind's eye, reflect on the threads that bind you to this timeless saga. Perhaps it's the indomitable spirit of Commander Adama, the enigmatic allure of Starbuck, or the silent grace of the Cylons that etches itself into the tapestry of your recollections. Now, it's your turn to become the harbinger of shared narratives. Share your most cherished moments, the scenes that still flicker in the recesses of your memory like distant stars. Did the iconic theme music trigger a surge of emotions? Did the interstellar battles leave you breathless, hanging on the precipice of the unknown? Battlestar Galactica isn't merely a series, it's a constellation in the sky of our collective imagination. So, dear reader, unleash your thoughts like starlight, illuminating the vastness of your connection to this intergalactic odyssey. Let your words be the nebulae that form in the wake of your contemplation. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic exploration, fueled by memories and powered by the echoes of a television era long past. Your thoughts are the celestial bodies that continue to shape the legacy of Battlestar Galactica. Until our paths cross again in the vast expanse of storytelling, may your memories of Battlestar Galactica be as enduring as the constellations above.